Times. We're here at the Delta State Office Building in Watertown, New York for the Watertown Taste of the Town. Hundreds of people are here at the building. About 30 so food and drink vendors are offering a wide range of uh, entrees, desserts, drinks, spirits, beers, wines, the whole mix. But uh, this event's running until 2 o'clock. It's a fundraiser for the Victims Assistance Center. We'll talk with uh, some of the leaders of the Victims Assistance Center later about what this event means to them. But first, let me turn it around. Let me show you some of the different uh, vendors that are here and what they're offering. Garden here serving up some pasta and some dessert, a lemon dessert. Sliding back over to more local items. No. We got ourselves the folks at Wise Guys. They're serving a nice bruschetta and a chowder dish. Let's keep moving along. It's a combination of uh, local and local and national uh, restaurants here that are uh, making up this event. Live music going on here for the event. Dessert here from the Hilton Garden Inn. It's a thousand islands high with a pineapple topping to it. And like I said, some different uh, beer and spirit options here. We got Woodboat Brewery coming in, serving up some different uh, beer samples here for people. We have Meathot's Curry House. We served up a uh, curry and a mango drink that was very nice. Okay, close up here. What are you, what are you making here? A little uh, barbecue? Uh, yep, we're just sort of mixing up the pork. All right, cool. Yep, yep. A little barbecue. Did you get chili hot? All right. Pork fresh. Hey, we're back oh, up again. Okay. That was great. Wow, that was great. Some local ice cream and some cheese curd over at the Jessica Dairy Princess Court table. Europe cakes right here. Serving up some different, different kinds of desserts here. Are you fine? Pardon me. How it works if you're just joining us, uh, you come in, you buy sample tickets, and you you, you, do, you give them to the different vendors to try their different dishes. Some are offering entrees, some are offering desserts. It really just depends on what your uh, taste is. And really, there's something for everybody right here. All right, let me turn it back. Clipper in offering a oatmeal cake and a moose dish. Very, very tasty. This American Medical Center of Food offering a couple different wraps. So today, you may have seen the apron I'm wearing. I'm not just playing your local friend report today, I'm also double duty as a judge for the event. Apparently, I fall under the media quote unquote celebrity category. I'm not sure if I totally agree with that, but it has been nice trying out some of the different food today. All right, well, let me turn it back around. St. Lawrence Spirits here uh, offering some different uh, spirits, some absinthe. I'll come back around real quick. Caballero is probably one of the biggest wines of the, of the day. They're, they're offering a uh, eggplant pasta and a uh, eggplant pasta. There's one other dish uh, offering a couple different dishes. But as you can see, one of the longest wines of, of the event here. 
Moving right along. I guess it's close enough. <laughs> Blessed Grapes one. Sorry, excuse me. Blessed Grapes Winery offering some samples here. Thank you to everybody who's watching. We're seeing some different uh, people saying they're watching from out of state. We got one saying they're watching from Sweden, the UK. Very much appreciate the Crescent Restaurant here offering a. Uh, they, ha they had a uh, chowder, chowder item, and then they also have this Mediterranean salad. Right around here. Both? Yeah. Face painting for those who might so inclined. This is all running till 2 p.m., so a couple of hours. This event's still running, though I have seen in the past they have run out of certain dishes. Sorry for uh, making some, now, some mouse water here. A cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon dish here at the top table. If I missed any during my first walkthrough, there was a popcorn stand. I think I missed the first time around. Lots of different flavors here. I had one of the uh, caramel popcorns, and that was very nice. And they also had a buffalo one that was very nice. That's popcorn and sweet treats in Watertown. Mm -hmm. along, and I think we're gonna, you may have seen some of these before, but we got the barbecue and and the uh, chili. That's for the uh, local dairy products. Overall, about 30 vendors making their way to the event today. Pretty impressive. On back here, again some of the uh, April's Cake Shop from downtown Watertown. Which vineyard is this? Banditi Vineyards of Theresa, New York, right here. Offering up some different samples. And we'll slide back here. Because we do want to chit chat with why this event, we do want to talk about why this event is happening. So, hey, can we get you for this one, Seth? Yeah. All right, so we're running the live for you right now. We want to tell people about what and why this event's happening. And can you tell everybody your name again? Uh, hi, I'm Jill Parker. I'm the executive director at the Victims Assistance Center of Jefferson County. This is our 14th year with Taste of the Town, our fourth year with collaboration with Watertown. Sunrise Rotary, and the reason we do this event is to raise funds uh, for our agency. We are an agency that provides services to all victims of crime in Jefferson County, predominantly domestic violence, sexual assault, and rape. We serve over 4,000 uh, individuals a year. We have a child advocacy center uh, here in Jefferson and Lewis and St. Lawrence County. We provide services to children that have been sexually or physically abused. We also have a response team, which is our RT program and they work with all law, local law enforcement, New York State Police, Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, the City PD, and they respond to uh, an incident of domestic violence and provide services to the victim. We also have a 20-bed safe uh, uh, confidential shelter uh, that provides a, a safe place to stay if you're a victim of domestic violence and our shelter does uh, provide uh, services to some homeless. Wonderful. And what does it mean to see so many people coming out and supporting the, the center's mission? 
helping these different victims of, of different crimes here? Well, it tells me that with all the people that have come out to this event, that our community takes violence serious. And, uh, it, you know, with any other um, area and community, there's always an increase of, there is an increase of heroin use. And when you have an increase of drug use, you also have an increase of crime and you have uh, an increase of victimization. So evidently our community is taking a crime series. All right, so what's the best thing you've tried so far today? Oh gosh, they're all, they're all good. <laughs> Come on, give me one favorite. Um, I'd have to say I, I liked uh, Monica at uh, Europe Cake. She had a, ras a cake with a raspberry mousse. I, I saw that. Um, that, was, that was pretty tasty. You like that one? Larios Kachina had um, a eggplant parmesan that was very, very delicious. Oh, wonderful. But it's, it's difficult because they're all, they all taste good. I know. It's, it's an impossible choice to pick one, just it, once. It is. I think that's why there's a couple of different categories for the winners today. Yes, and we also have some local uh, wineries. Uh, the local brewery, Woodbow Brewery from Clayton, and we have Clayton Distillery. So I haven't hit any of those yet because I'm working. So. Yeah. <laughs> Something to try a little later. A little later today. All right. Well, wonderful. Hey, Joe, thanks Thank so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Thank Absolutely. You. All right. Let me turn it back around here. We'll do one last little circle around here, and uh, we'll get you just one last look before we sign off here. I actually need to go in and do a little bit of uh, judging here on some of the winners. talking about a minute ago. Sorry, excuse me. Beehive Curry House serving up some with a little bit of spice. Very tasty. Dairy items. Locally made. Texas Roadhouse with some uh, barbecue and some chili. A couple different popcorn options here at Popcorn and Sweet Treat. Your cakes offering some different options. As you can see, look at the line for Galeria's Kachina. Every year, a very popular destination in this taste of the town. Samaritan offering up some different. Uh, so, I've seen your question, Michael. I, I don't believe Bonnie Castle is here today. No, I, I don't think they are. A couple of different restaurants from up in the. Uh, Hey guys, we had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we are back. We're just going to do our final wrap of the uh, Watertown Taste of the Town. Thank you for everybody who's been joining us. Sorry for the uh, for the little technical issues, but we'll turn around. We'll give you one last look at some of the uh, major vendors here at the event. So, as you can see, probably one of the longest lines here at the event is the uh, Cavalerios Cucina. They're offering a couple of different... Uh, dishes here, and the line is run all the way to the back. Samaritan over here, they're offering some different wraps and salad items. All right, along St. Lawrence Spirits, offering some different uh, gins and absinthe and vodka, wide range items there. Over on the other side of the line here, we have Busted Grace Winery. 
throw out some different samples. And Brian said, we walk down to the end here, the Crescent Restaurant offering a Mediterranean salad. This is good. I make a lot of soup. Uh, Crescent Restaurant up in Chamon offering a salad, getting a little bit of line here. I walk through the crowd here, folks. And you know what, make up for the uh, little bit of the glitch there. We're going to just do one last circle. Thank everybody who uh, was watching in on this. Always appreciate you tuning in to the Watertown Daily Times live on Facebook. Clipper offering a pair of dessert items. Uh, popcorn sweet treats offering many times popcorn, salt and vinegar, sour cream, and uh, and chives. See the ranch, jalapeno, buffalo, bushwang. They're based in Watertown. Euro cakes offering some sweet treats over here. Jefferson County Dairy Princess Port offers some cheese curd and some ice cream. Very tasty over here. Bird back over here. Texas Roadhouse with some barbecue and some chili. Moving right along. V Heads Curry House. Pretty new. They're on Arsenal Street in Watertown. They're serving up a nice curry, chicken curry dish. We say where when I was there a little earlier. Woodville Brewery serving up some beer samples. Sorry, man. See the Golden Garden in with a Thousand Islands pie dish right here. Try back over here. April's Cake Shop serving up some little items here, including uh, cuppy cupcakes. Uh, one Sam's Club right Are over here. I kind of passed over them quickly last time. Vendetti Vineyards and Theresa offering some different samples here. Wise Guys here offering a bruschetta dish. A lot of flavor there. And then Olive Garden, right over here, drawing a crowd as well. All right, well, hey, I'm going to wrap things up. But uh, for everybody who watched us on Facebook Live, thanks so much for tuning in. And, again, apologies for the technical issues. But we always appreciate you watching, and we'll hope you turn, tune in to us uh, next time. Thanks, guys.